Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Just before I start, just say thank you to all the subscribers for the likes and the comments, etc. It is much appreciated. Always helps the channel grow, which uh, is, you know, what I'm after really. I'm not after uh, any world domination or anything, but the more people that view the channel, the better really, as far as I'm concerned. And it gives you more impetus to make more videos, really. Anyway, so AZ4 in 1.3 now this is an old video i've had it lying around for about a year just under a year and a half really so my style has slightly changed and it brings me back to what i was saying a couple of videos ago about my style and it's also uh shows the finishing of um the dv1 video i uploaded dv1 video it's a couple of videos before this um and it just shows you the, the finished article, really. I didn't lump it together because it's two different guns. And a lot of people like to see the videos for the spray guns. In fact, that's probably the thing most people like to see, really. So, AZ-4 in a 1.3. So, it's AZ-4-2. AZ-4-2 is the cap. They make this in AZ-4-1 and the 2. The AZ-4-1 comes in a 0.8, a 1.1 and a 1.2 with the AZ-4-1 cap, and that runs at one bar, which is about 14 PSI. These ones, the 1.3, 1.5, and 1.8, run at 2.5 bar, that's with the AZ-4-2 cap on it. And it makes a hell of a lot of difference. I mean, you know, the 1.5 and the 1.8 are gonna be for primary uses, really. But this one in 1.3 is absolutely ideal for clear coat. I've sprayed, base coat with it as well and it, it is absolutely fine but it, it seems to excel as a clear coat gun now this is a tank for a um i do a few tanks for a friend who does uh, some bikes does bikes up and uh, these are a few tanks i've done for him so i do the whole tank you know underneath etc and you'll see as i say although my style's changed slightly the underneath of the tank it's just about getting good coverage because all you're trying to do you don't see it all you're trying to do is give the tank longevity basically against rust and things like that so make sure you don't miss any little parts out just give it a good coating with the base coat or primer if you're using primer then the base coat and then the clear coat and the clear coat gives it a good protective covering but it doesn't matter too much how it you know how it looks obviously what you're concentrating on for looks is the top coat which is obviously what we're coming to now so as i say with the az4 the reason i i kept this video um, and thought i'd upload it now is one to change show you how i have changed my style in a year and a half but also to show you that you don't have to spend loads and loads of money on a minigun to get a really good finish because this tank came out superb although you know although i said myself it came out really really nice and you know these guns sell for about 140 pounds which is about 180 us dollars and when we're talking these days about you know dv1s at 375 quid 550 dollars well over here anyway that's what it would sell for 375 pound and you know uh, i've just got an ego uh, 190 and they're 300 odd pounds as well so we're talking a lot of money these days and you know if you're relatively new to painting and a lot of us have a limited budget uh you know if, if you've got kids at work etc you can't always afford the time or the money to do all this so people like me that can give you an idea of of what you know what you can get for reasonable money and do a reasonable job at home with it uh, is is what this channel's all about i guess for people that are you know we can all get a good job in a spray booth but when you're sort of like challenged a bit by the elements etc it just shows you that you can get reasonable jobs uh admittedly i have loads of spray guns but you know we're not talking about an expensive spray gun at the moment so it's a very very good gun for those that um are just starting out and want something to it is a do-it-all gun and it will do it all although you know i prefer this for clear coat I, do, I have used it for base coat and it's absolutely fine, but I, I prefer something slightly smaller for base coat, like a 1.2 tip really, because most of the stuff I do is only small. 
and it, it's, uh, it just lends itself nicer with a, with a smaller tip. I have got this gun with a, a 1.0 tip with the AZ41 cap and it's a really nice gun as well. It, it's, a, it's a cracking little finish. It's much slower though, so I prefer this for clear coat, but if you have got the 1.0 or the 1.2 and it's got the AZ41 cap on it, then persevere with it because the finish is really good. It's just it's just a lot slower. This thing behaves like a, a full size minigun, if that makes sense. Whereas the, the the smaller tip versions of this behaves just like a normal minigun. They're quite well made. The build quality isn't the best, but it's certainly pretty good for 140 uh, GB pounds. The there's no sealing ring at the front on the nozzle, so you don't have to worry about changing those every now and again like you do on a um, you know quite a few different spray guns so it's it's reasonably well made and i don't think it's it's that disappointing for the sort of money we're talking about and as you can see the finish is absolutely superb just a tip on decals sorry if i, I sound like i'm rushing but i am trying to get through all this just a tip on decals if you're putting decals on tanks like this, plastic decals, then be careful. I try, or I don't normally add thinners to my clear coat anyway, but if you add too much thinners to the clear coat, it can make the edges curl slightly because it just reacts with the plastic. So I just warm my clear coat up to about 25 degrees Celsius. This, today was about 10 degrees Celsius, the day that I did this. So it's quite chilly, which is what about 51, 52 Fahrenheit. So I warm my clear coat up. It makes it flow a lot, lot better. So you get a lot better results and you get much less of a chance of it reacting with the decals. And just turn the gun down like one turn out. So only a little bit of fluid's come out and just put a couple of little coats over the decals before you start two full, full, to, two full coats and you should be absolutely fine. Anyway, guys, as I say, thanks for uh, watching. I think you'll agree it turned out beautiful. All right, guys, thanks a lot. You keep watching them, and uh, I'll keep making them. Cheers. Bye-bye.